быстро увеличился в объеме. Через несколько секунд после взрыва диаметр пылевого столба составлял около... I almost caused World War III one time on a Discord server. So, have any of you heard of Discord roleplay servers? Two of my friends invited me to an RP server, actually multiple, where people play as countries and do political and military stuff. It's an interesting experience. Let's get into the story and I'll explain how it works on the way. This was the second RP I was on. The starting setting was 2020 and I played as the Philippines. The current world order in Asia was mainly divided and dominated between two countries. The Republic of East Asia, which comprised of Taiwan, China, India, and numerous smaller nations, and the Empire of Japan, which comprised of Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia, and some more smaller nations. These countries were played by two of my friends, and between them, I was just there, being neutral. Also in the middle of them was a United Korea, an NPC country. To explain, NPC countries ran by having other players temporarily take over the role when required. For example, when a player country asked something to an NPC, another player would go and respond as the NPC. This is what happened with Korea, multiple times. So pretty much, both East Asia and Japan wanted Korea, and it remained that way for a while, until whoever was playing Korea ended up transferring Korea to Germany as an overseas territory. I, I don't know how. Eventually, Korea ended up as a part of East Asia, and the person, or multiple people who play Korea, I don't know exactly what happened, got banned or something. I, as the Philippines, come to play here. I had sent Filipino workers to Korea prior to the whole Germany, I would like to join you thing, because Korea Philippines, good friends, and also because I wanted to join off Korea. So naturally, because East Asia, I was worried about what was going to happen to them, but East Asia assured me that it was going to be fine and they could say. On the side, I was doing, or was trying to do, a world news kind of thing, and released a report that Philippine workers were seeing signs of the Fort Police. Although I didn't confirm it, he went and said, What? This is a bro moment. and expelled the workers from Korea, which then caused an argument between East Asia and Japan, which then led to other countries getting involved. There were threats. So, yeah, it looked like World War III was about to occur. If a war broke out, I was expecting to be neutral because it didn't seem like an especially exceptional idea for a country like me to go to war, and secondly, I don't know how to do this military stuff. But in an event that surprised everyone, or probably didn't, the admin, also known as Russia, just voided it. He voided everything up to the Filipino expulsion. Which is honestly too bad. The RP would have been a lot more interesting. It would have been fun if that had happened. If World War Three had happened. I do understand why they didn't go ahead with that. It would have been a lot of work for everyone involved and potentially would have gone really messy. Although I would argue that wars are a major selling point of an RP experience. And also, that was a really good setup. Quite a missed opportunity. But that's just about the end of the story. Playing on a political roleplay, or whatever the proper name is, was honestly a pretty fun and enjoyable experience. I'd recommend it if you're into history, military, geopolitics, and that kind of stuff. You also need a lot of time and dedication, which I don't exactly have for this thing. Would I do this again? Mm, probably not. Or at least, not to the degree of what I did that one time, let alone to what these other people do. I might go and play a minor role if I'm requested, perhaps? Like that one time, I was the Netherlands and was immediately threatened to join Europa, what was up with that RP? You know, I really could have used those actual maps that we made during the RPs. Too bad the owner... Too bad the owner deleted all those... Too bad the... Too bad the owner... Too bad the owner deleted all those servers! It would have been very cool to have them.